Okay guys, this is a quick video on clicks and click-through rate percentage. So I am logged into Amazon and I'm searching for a grill brush and as you look down over here, you're going to notice the Amazon sponsored products. If I were to click on this listing, which I'm not going to do to save them money on ad spend, then their campaign would register a click, okay? Now that's pretty simple and straightforward. What's more important is the click-through rate percentage. The click-through rate percentage is a measurement of the total impressions and the number of clicks. So let's say I have 100 impressions and I get one click, that would mean that I would have a 1% click-through rate percentage, which actually on Amazon is pretty high. We tend to target a click-through rate percentage of between 0.4 and 0.8, with anything above 0.8 being really, really good. Now it's important to note the, that the CTR percentage is a really good indicator of how relevant your product is to the keyword that you're targeting. So let's say I'm selling a grill mat and I targeted grill brush. Well, that's not really the same thing. So my click-through rate percentage is potentially going to be a lot lower because people are looking for a grill brush, not a grill mat. So not as many people might click on it, even though I may get a lot of impressions. But if I'm selling a grill brush and the search term is grill brush, you would expect that the click-through rate percentage would be much, much higher. So it's important to note that this is a really good indicator of relevancy. It's also a really good indicator of how your listing is coming across on the Amazon Marketplace. So let's say you have a listing that has a really um, strange headline or title, and it's got a spelling mistake, um, or you know the punctuation is off or let's say the image is, is weird and it doesn't come across or the image is too small all of these things could impact your click-through rate percentage that's why we always say it's super important to start with a really really good listing there are other things that could also impact the click-through rate percentage think about it this way what if your price is way 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 high in comparison to your competitors people are gonna be less likely to click on your listing because of that one thing. Let's say you have like zero reviews. Well, people may not trust you, so they may not click on, on your listing, which means you could get the impression, but not the click. This all impacts your click-through rate percentage. And it's important to think of it as a, a way of, um, of determining how relevant and how good your listing is for what people are actually searching for on Amazon. Now, when I log into PPC Entourage, you're going to see that the clicks and click the rate percentages is located right over here. And overall, our account has a 0.48 CTR percentage and 23,000 clicks. Now, you can see the clicks and CTR percentages for all of your products and all of your campaigns scattered throughout PPC Entourage. Also, there's a way to optimize based on CTR percentage because CTR percentage is an indicator of relevancy. And we want to make sure that some of our more profitable campaigns are super relevant in Amazon's eyes. So in later videos, I'm going to share with you how to optimize looking at the CTR percentage to weed out the search terms and keywords that are underperforming based on the CTR percentage so that you can increase your relevancy and potentially get a cheaper cost per click. Now, I know I just went over a lot there, but what you, what you need to know for this video is that clicks, very simple and straightforward. It's basically when somebody clicks on your site, it gets registered. But the CTR percentage is very, very, very telling. It tells us it, how relevant our ads are, how relevant our search terms are, and how good our listing looks in the general marketplace. If nobody's clicking on it, there's a reason, and that warrants further investment.